previous events. Good morning, Lichle. Good morning, Mam Sagunjani. I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Uh Kabul Saba Pula Pulibe Kitin Gesi Radio Sepam Kelly Kobe. Um good morning to Abapula Puli. Um I'm super excited today. Um today we will be talking about the seven categories, the investors. Hmm. Right. Okay. So last week we spoke that um, money is not your problem, and that mm. um, your problem is knowledge and skills. And we shared a little bit of insight with regards to the two different types of investors. Go, mm. we are going into the drilling of the the bottom line. Yeah. The, the, the investors, this in journey, what are their investment criteria? What mm. are their trades? Therefore, when I present an opportunity to this one, this is how I go about it. Because, okay. um, you know, from one of from Rich Dad's, uh, Robert Kiyosaki's book, which are what he put their investments for um, wealthy people, investments for the rich, investments mm -hmm. for the middle class, and their investment for poor people, right? Which is just as there are houses for each class, with their investments for each class. So you need to understand what the investor with the banana you are, but in mindset, yeah, you right. It's one of the most important things, right? So um today um I will get first and foremost get started with the first part, which is the qualified investor, right? So as the, as the criteria that we have, we've got the qualified investor, we've got an accredited investor, we have a sophisticated investor, we have an ultimate investor, average investor, and an angel investor, right? But the first one, the first one is we're going to be talking about is a qualified investor, right? So, investors or seven types of of investors, all right? And they're saying, "Usho bonga lunye." If nasukale pa ya bafuno kuchonge, do bana le investor uti le investor iteni na energy <laughs> Enormous <laughs> So mm -hmm. a little bit, an investor is someone who has access to capital or okay. cash, right? And this mm -hmm. money can be used to, to, to expand a business, to start a business, to scale mm -hmm. a business and the links, right? Now, e-investors, now a lot of people, when talk about investors, if we can put it in simple terms, everything you see that is in existence today, somebody took the time to invest in it. Let's repeat that. Yes, Everything yes. you see today, somebody took the time and money to invest in it, right? Okay. Right? Um, someone had to invest money, right? Mm. For to to on 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 a product, a company, a TLA for this um target to be manufactured, right? Okay. Which means an investor, you an investor can be someone who they can invest in any business. Mm. You know, if you look at the road, um, somebody took the time to invest in that, the okay. money to invest in. You look at mm. e e paper spoons, power bank, laptop, um, wardrobes, you know, um, desks. Somebody took the time to invest and in money, yeah. time and money to invest in that, right? Okay. So okay. I'm who are investors. Money criteria is till, and there is a particular language 
that mm. they speak. Okay. And if you speak anything contrary to this, I put that in. Even okay. if there's an opportunity, right? We be well, we well informed about the industry that you are wanting or seeking financing in. You could mm. still lose. Why? Because you pitched to the wrong person. Let's make an mm. example. <clears throat> Um, um I, I, I don't invest in technology companies, in tech okay. companies. Right? Mm -hmm. So when somebody comes to me and says, I need you to invest in a deal or a project for me, right? Mm -hmm. And this project, um, also investor Guyo, um, I need you to we are investing in, in an app. I'm starting an mm -hmm. app. Now, me being I look at that and I'm like, dude, you've come to the wrong guy. Right. I can raise the money, but I call value in any that I can put onto the table. Mm. Right? Because I know nothing about tech, tech companies. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yes. But when you come to me and say, let's invest in a project in property, it's a different okay. game. The appetite goes up. Right? Okay. So, okay. so which means... One of, first and foremost, we need to understand what he, does this investor invest in the kind of product that you oi, or oi, you oi, are offering? Ah. Right? Yes, that's one of the first things. Those those are basics, you know. What he, you need to know what you long to some pizza late business. We are investors now. Kunabando are busy investors, but they have no interest in property. Okay, right. Abafunova, the property. Abanya Bafunu, they want to invest in, in, in oil, Abanya, they invest in shipping, Abanya, they invest in, in big projects, you know, Abanya in ex businesses that have to do with exporting and importing, Abanya are in farming, but speak to them about buying, you know, properties, they like, not nah, dude. No. Mm, 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 right. mm. So, so you need to understand the different levels. Just like for me, if you were to come to me and say, what you know, you want me to invest because when you want to um, buy a boat, as our niggas are bounty trips to Europe and Ireland and back, I look mm. at you and I'm like, that's the last thing I ever want to be involved in. Okay. Right? Okay. Now, okay. so so which means he investors as a fund, he investors as the investing window a fan. It's one of the things that are important. You need to understand okay. the lay investors are investor, investor window. In. Now, okay. there are different types of investors or categories to e investors, right? And it is important that this is a skill that needs you to be a very sharp listener, a very okay. good listener. Because, by, you know, a lot, sometimes someone will come to you, um, Ati, I've got a deal where or I'm looking for a property at 3 million. Mm. But if you don't ask the right questions, um, Uzambale gives. Okay. Right? You need to remember Ubasonge Ebomini were a combination of exposure and experience. Okay. okay. Right? Which means um some investors but clearly was six percent interest per annum. All right. Thousand the opportunity eighty twenty percent or fifteen percent per annum. It's too good to be true. Hmm. Right? Uh -huh. Even if even if we are monitor on paper how feasible this thing, how predictable this thing is, you mm -hmm. will still lose the deal. Because to them, their reality is real and your reality mm -hmm. is something else. So you need to understand the different realities, the investors. Okay. Now, let's get down to the different realities, the investors. So we've got seven different kinds or categories of investors. We've got a qualified investor, an accredited investor, Yes. A qualified investor. Yes. Mm -hmm. A qualified investor is a is an investor who is investing just because you qualified. Okay. Right. In other okay. words, this investor could have inherited money. You know, um, Agayas um, okay. It could be someone of Mali by their late parents. Okay. It could be it could be someone who is just because um in in a savings is younger, um mm. they can um buy or invest pre investment as a team. Okay. Right? This All person right. 
it's not qualified, not because they have the education. Okay. It's just because they have money. Okay. Now, <laughs> there's there's a funny uh, story that I had a few, uh, I first read about it, and then, um, and then naive in reality, a few weeks ago mm -hmm. for the first time. And I remember, Guti, I did read about something like this a few years ago. Mm. I remember on a book that I read um, where I was learning, Guti, sometimes you could be a very wealthy person, but still go many oh. investments of Dwayokos. Or Dwayokos? Yes, of Dwayokos that oh, you are Dwayokos. just not, that you just cannot be involved in. Okay. Right? Just because, yeah. just because it's you. Which means sometimes being a qualified investor alone does not mean, which means having one million rand for you to qualify does not mean you qualify for the investments of the rich. Okay, okay. Wow. Right? Wow. That's one thing. Mm. Right. Mm. And, and, wow. and, 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 it's a, and this is where investing becomes a little bit of a complex subject because that's why I always say one needs to get educated in this game because. Mm. Most abandu is investor from a point of you know just from a point of seeing, you know just but you know from from the surface, we don't really know what's really happening inside the game, right? Oh, so oh. a qualified investor is simply a person who can invest just because they have money. Okay. Right. Okay. So for example. Yes. Mm. So it's according to the government, which means if this person didn't have money, they would they would just be unqualified. So their money mm. actually, um, I wouldn't say I, I don't like putting it this way, but their money kind of communicates the value that they are bringing okay. in. Okay. Because if they have no money, there's no need to do business. Okay. Because there's no about those and I, right? That's a qualified mm. investor. Right. That's okay. why um, you find that most of the time, a lot of people who get Imali's Im inheritance, what happens to them? They lose it all. Mm. Yes. They lose Better it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Because. I'm doing a lot. Exactly. Right. Celebrate mm -hmm. investing. Because if you will notice, sometimes sometimes they do buy properties. Sometimes when this is in the land, not even if you are a over and what, what, even if you are a you know what I mean? flats and the likes, but still, you know, le million properties, but there's nothing else. You know what I mean? Okay. It's only because they were qualified. Now let's move to the next one. Now the next mm -hmm. one is an accredited investor. Now, if you look at the it's word accredited, accredited, it's taken accredited. accredited. Yes. Okay. Accredited investor. Now, accredited comes from the word credit. I was having a conversation with another good friend of mine, you know, um, Andy Tanda, I had a conversation with you know, and um, he was saying, actually, he was actually explaining credit in simple terms. And I was like, dude, I am taking this. And I want to use that term again. He said the word credit means nothing out of nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Out, out of nothing. Right? Okay. In other words, money was printed from nothing and was mm. and, and, and available. And the minute this person accesses that money, that money mm. stops, turns from being credit into being debt. Okay. So, an accredited investor most of the time is so is an employee who um has ca who can be pre-approved for a bond. Mm. Right? So um for my son zooms again. So for example, um do pay I'm some fifty thousand today can qualify for your property, your one one million, one point five. And then if their credit score really does look good, um they can go up to two million, right? Okay. To finance a bond, right? Now what mm -hmm. tends to happen is um, you are you qualify you 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 are uh, um, an accredited investor in this sense. It means you are earning um, enough money on a monthly basis for you to okay. be able to be entrusted with debt okay. worth two million in this example. Okay. Right. 
So this one, mm-hmm. so the, 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 like um, you know, um, not not being able to distinguish between an accredited and a qualified. A qualified has the cash, right? Okay. It could be an inheritance, savings, but they have the cash. Okay. The other one does not have the cash. But mm. Because of um, their credit scores, their um, pay slips, mm. their job, or whatever, um, their three months bank statements, six months bank statements, they then can be entrusted with mm. um, debt, right? So we call these accredited investors. Now, wow. Accredited investors are um, more, more often than not, as I said, are employees, right? Mm. Accredited investors, most of the time, they are the people who can easily get um, loans from the bank, bonds from the bank, because they have good jobs. Okay. Right? They have good, sometimes, or more often than not, high-paying jobs, right? Okay. So so, so, so that is what we call... Um, an accredited investor does not have mm. cash, but okay. they qualify to get to secure the property, right? Yeah. That's an accredited investor. I'm with you. Now, mm. another one, um, this one is my favorite, right? So this one is a sophisticated investor. A so- sophisticated mm-hmm. investor. Now, what is a sophisticated investor? This kind of investor um, majors on raising money. Okay. In other words, this investor has access to some context or or has the ability or skill to be Mm. able to raise money from private investors, from financial Mm -hmm. institutions, right? Mm -hmm. And then this investor can then be able to raise money to finance his property deals. Okay. That's a sophisticated investor, right? Mm -hmm. So this investor understands the power of leverage, Mm -hmm. right? And this Mm -hmm. is is the the thing where um, I would encourage everyone to to, to strive to play in, right? Mm. If, you know, an accredited investor, you can only get accredited for a certain amount of money. Mm. A qualified investor, you have to save or wait for inheritance or loan the families of an Uyo, winning lotto, whatever the case is. Or maybe you store up enough money, you save enough money <clears throat> that you can invest, right? But here, mm. this person has the skills. <clears throat> this person has the know-how to raise capital. Okay. Which means... This, you, you will find out that a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, um, uh, especially the big boys, they always say, if I could lose it all, I could recover it all within a period okay. of one year. And okay. even more. Because they know how, how to raise money. And they know how. Yes, they've got the skills, you know. When you have the skills and the knowledge, I can't complain about the skills and the knowledge of mine. Yeah, I can. You think, okay. you've got it. Yeah. Nothing, no one can take that away from you. It's your skill, okay. right? The know-how. And then um, you get an ultimate investor. Now, these mm-hmm. are the people, right? Ultimate investor is actually um, where I think everyone would dreams of being there, but um, mm-hmm. not many people get to that level, right? Okay. This one requires more commitment and diligence than the requirement of being a sophisticated investor. It requires more? Right? More diligence and more, mm-hmm. um, what did I say? <laughs> I said diligence, which means and more sorting after of knowledge, which means there's, there, there's, okay. you need to go an, an extra mile than you would mm-hmm. as a sophisticated investor, right? So mm, that's another mm. one, a very important one. Now, um, these kind of investors um, then use money from the masses. Okay. They do what the, the, the sophisticated investor does, but mm-hmm. they um, do it on a massive scale. Okay. Right? On a scale of millions and millions of people. 
Mm -hmm. Right? Are we still together? Okay. So yeah. that's a very important one. Right? And then more, more often than not, you find out that these investors have their properties listed on the JSE. Mm. Right? More often mm -hmm. than not, these investors will have their properties listed on um, um, on the stock exchange and public uh, mm. platforms for um, for the masses to invest. So these ones are maximizing leverage. Remember what does leverage mean? Mm. It's the ability to serve more and more people with less and less effort. Yes. More and more people, less and less effort. And that's always the name of the game, right? You want to be able to reach out and expand your business as much as possible and share your business with as many people as possible whilst also working less and less, right? Mm -hmm. Now, more often than not, we believe that companies listed on the JSE mean that the company is credible, which mm. is, um, I believe that it's a myth, right? Um, okay. It could be, most of them could be credible, and um, that's all. Also, another place where people, when they are uneducated, they lose money easily. Mm. Okay. Warren Buffett says um, that um, the Wall Street is the only place he knows where people go driving a Rolls Royce to get advice. Mm -hmm. Right? So, um, which means, in other words, um, you know, when you are an un uneducated investor, you could mm -hmm. put yourself at the risk of investing in deals or in, in businesses where you could end up losing money. Right? Okay. That is why I always encourage education because education secures your investment future. Right? Okay. You cannot be an, an uneducated, not, you know, Rich that always says, you know, it's not the investment that is risky, but it is the uneducated mm -hmm. investor that is risky. Mm -hmm. Right? Which means the more you don't educate yourself in the game, the more you open yourself to vulnerability. Okay. The more so you open you yourself up. Yes. The more you open yourself up for scams. The more you open yourself up for all these different products, this is Fumana every day that make people lose money, mm, right? Mm, mm. I always say, even the minute you neglect educating yourself on money, you are opening yourself up so that you could be the next victim of people who cry over losses when it comes to money. Education. Mm is a big priority when it comes to investing. You should make that your number one all the time. If you remember the three E's we spoke about, education, mm -hmm. experience, excess cash. Excess yes. cash is a result of commitment to education and experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of them taste the excess cash and leave behind education and experience. And then mm. because, because these, these opportunities, you know, um, we, we, I always say, um, investing is supposed to be simple, such that the math should be predictable. Okay. You are not gambling, you are investing. There's a difference between gambling and investing. Okay. Right? When you are gambling, you are just throwing in money with the hope that you win. You really don't know if you are going to win. Okay. Right? But we'll you, yes, but investing requires a certain amount of education for each investment product, right? Now, an ultimate investor uses money of masses and then this investor then buys big companies or invest in big firms or they open, they do big developments using multi-millions or slash billions of friends, right? Mm. So this is money that they raised from the masses, mm. right? And then um, the masses then most of the time goes out to their own shares, right? Okay. Now, owning shares, you know, it's another thing. Um, you know, education has beat us very much. You know? I always say 
just because you own a share doesn't mean anything. Right? Owning a share you does not mean anything. You are cutting shares. Owning shares doesn't really mean much. Okay. Right? Especially when you are saying you are you 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 invested or bought shares in the JSC or in the stock exchange, it, it really does not mean much. You have no control over the shares that you have invested in. Mm, right? Mm. Which brings us to the next one, which means you are an average investor. Okay. Right? Or you can say average or you can say slash outside investor. Okay. Now, being an outside investor, investor is risky eh? because um, you cannot protect your interests. Mm -hmm. You are not in the boardroom. Most of the companies listed on the stock exchanges, um, you never get invited to the board meetings or whatever the case is. They don't consult mm. with you about how they are going to use the funds. They use okay. the funds. Uh, whether mm. it is your best interest, whether it is against your best interest, they use the funds. They they, they make the decisions. Whether okay. you are um, at the mercy of their decisions. All right. Now, if you remember correctly what we spoke about, we said that you want, as an investor, you want to invest like the banks. Mm. You want to invest in control. You want to have some a certain amount of control in protecting your assets. Now, giving away money and you cannot protect your interest, you have no watch over what happens, no say over what happens. That is a little bit um, of um, being, you know, uh, irresponsible. Okay. Right. Um, we always say that you need to treat your money as if it's your baby, right? Okay. Nobody takes care of your baby better than the mother. Of the the new yeah. right, mm -hmm. um, I'm not okay. talking about marriage, about negligence or whatever. I'm just speaking from the general point of view of how it always goes, right? Nobody takes so. care of your baby more than yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Now, nobody can take care of your money better than you. That's why you need to educate yourself. You need to mm. put it upon yourself that. It is your personal responsibility. It is your duty. You owe the knowledge of money to yourself, to your children, whom you are expecting or creating wealth for, and most importantly, to your family. You owe this responsibility to you. Stop passing it around recklessly, right? It's, it's, it's a very important thing. It's a very important thing, right? Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Now, um, okay. the, the, the next part is an inside investor. An inside investor. What is an okay. inside investor? An inv this kind of investor has a certain amount of influence mm -hmm. in the business. Certain amount okay. of influence to protect their interest. So okay. they don't have to be the majority shareholder, but they have a certain amount of influence. They could be the director in the company. There could be a chairman in the company. There could be a, a major st stakeholder in the company. Or they could mm. just own maybe 20%, um, 10%, or whatever the percentage is in the company. That is an okay. inside investor because they have inside information about what is happening in the company. Okay. Are we together? <clears throat> yes. now, now we move on to the last one. Right. The last one is an angel investor or slash ROI investor. What is an ROI investor? It means return on investment investor, right? Return of? Return on investment investor. <clears throat> okay. Actually, it's return of investment or on investment. Or you can say it's an angel investor. Now, this mm. is everyone's favorite investor. I mean, we okay. love these investors because mm -hmm. these investors, they don't care about the, you know, having information, the company, you know, mm -hmm. they just want their money back. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so okay. if you promise right. this investor, 
Yeah, which means if you promise this investor good thing at 25, this investor will be able to get 25. Right? So, uh, uh, investor, Akuna needs, Akuna Matiles, Yena, Imalia, the car, my reflected. A co COVID, Kegle invest. I malaki. I was with the eye bony and now bass been a pandemic in Funimaliam. Ah, Baba Funova, Utusakalu city pandemic, which in Jepswin. Hm, I can no me now, you know. Ubona Abuba, I chonga. This dude is not going to mess around with me. I got some woman, I'm not saying. But why angel? Could why angel galo because Gabona Sibafuna? Okay. They, they are the ones that when you buy a property, Yako, you own get a property, a company, Yako, I can own you nicks. Okay. Right? So we, we, we kind of like them for, for their ignorance, basically. Okay. Because again, you are still being an ignorant investor. Mm -hmm. Because you must remember, for I said you want to play at an, a sophisticated level, and you also want to play at the ultimate level. What? Why? Yeah. Why, why at these levels? Because these guys have control mm. over the assets. Okay. Right? We sometimes we we call them equity investors. These investors, they want to have a share in, in, in the deal. And they want to have a share as serious, not in share board okay. meeting. Right? As that shareholders, you are being an outside investor, even though you are being called a shareholder. It's just for you to feel good. Do you ever notice a lot of people who have invested in the stock exchange, how they always go on about owning shares in the stock exchange? Mm, mm, but mm, in mm. That sense, they they just own a piece of paper um, of a company that have no that they have no control over, okay. no say, absolutely nothing whatsoever. Right now, once again, Zonke as in as invest as investors require a certain amount of education Zonke, and okay. if you notice, the more negligent you are, right? Mm -hmm. The more negligent you are as an investor. The more mm. of a disadvantage you put yourself. Okay. Okay. Right. So uh, okay. yes. I wanted to tell you that if bank I own, if if for a P I catch a call, where is invest? Where is investors? I want something. So that if bank I ask you, I want to transfer your ball. Like money. Um. For this app, you own app. E bank must be like a financial institution, yabo. So go go. Then as you start to investors, individuals. Okay, sure. So okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So the bank, the investment firms, the zine, they are financial institutions. So go go. Society pain as well. Call the investor, yabo. Okay, and sure. And 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 zong as investment um as as a different kinds so as categories of investors. This is the full now urban knowledge ATL to operate in each one of them. And the level required from them all, um, if you notice, the more a requirement of knowledge, the more money you make. Okay, but 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 let oh the lap in the loan I'm not the good DJ, you go for theta period to in Boku and this gone donor, your phone investor clear property, your phone and other types of investors, the Dibana opinions investors. And 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 yes, education. I'll get the few books and read and read. But this is fun. I've been the lap of man. So I've been my phone. But the phone I lend to the 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 banana business investors who quite focus on their phone. But that's not my. The only thing that we know, the one I'm not buying, and that's the financial institutions. Ah, we were never, uh, you know, taught in the banana the investors in the at these categories. The lap of the phone now. The phone we get now, but in the team. Awesome. Yeah. One of the first things we need to do is under one umbrella. The in the Zambale and the and the Panda is born. The phone gets ultimate investor and and the game of Uba Umla. investor. One of the first things we need to uh, do is to decide 
Where okay. do you want to play as investors? Right? Okay. What kind of investor do you want to be? You know, I love okay. the word decide because the original meaning of the word decide means to cut off from. Okay, sure. Which means, um, if you're saying you are a DJ, mm. there's a you first before you invest, you need to remember. I said it's the three E's that bring you the, mm. the excess cash, right? Yes, cash is a result of education and experience, experience. right? Yes. Which means, mm. first and foremost, after deciding, you need to go after sorting this knowledge, okay? Right. So, as you said, in a form of reading books, see no Google mm. today. People, you can, you can literally learn things from Facebook. You can literally learn things from YouTube. I mean, even um, today, John, if you tune in in this radio um, today uh, that we are having in the conversation, you are, you, you, are, you are opening your eyes again, educating mm. yourself, right? Mm, and then mm. one of the second things and what you have to change is environment. Right? Okay. Just as I spoke about my uncle last week, environment yes. is important. Okay. Because you can you, it's one thing to be in, in an environment. Um, and then when because you play environment, but you, you you don't have the education, it's one thing to be in the environment and not have the education. You will still miss the opportunity. Okay. Right? It's one thing to be told about financial institutions and still not have the knowledge, you will still miss the opportunity. Okay. If I'm an Endoba, um, I don't know if this one makes sense. Ben so um I used to have I, I, I used to um, go out to friends um who, who used to love drinking. Now because okay. for me for me when I associate drinking with a lot of pain for me. Right, because for me, in my mind, it's that um, if I would drink, yo, a lot of things would happen. I'd be picked up, a straight away, any whatever. I made it very painful for me to make sure okay. which I do not get okay. engaged into this. Okay. Now, even if you put me in an environment of people who drink, I I still don't see anything eating, right? Because so my mind does, does not envision or visualize, you know. Um, me drinking. Okay. Okay. But okay. at the same time, you find you find Umtu who stops drinking for a certain period of time. But when they get exposed into an environment, I'm going to change that for a couple of times. But eventually, boom. Okay. Right? So yeah. environment is important because you we, remember what you said. We are what we repeatedly do. We are what we repeatedly expose ourselves to. Mm. There's no independence. So which means which means one of and if you remember was I said about the mindset, I believe it was a little so was I said about the mindset. Because I said about the mindset, which said what you are made out of five senses. And you need to expose mm. your five senses to the life of your dreams. Which means if your mm. dream is to become a, a sophisticated investor. Which means you should mm -hmm. start exposing your five senses to so, the mindset and the environment of sophisticated investors. Right. Wow. So ah. massive. <laughs> massive all sorts of investors and investors someone willing to sponsor you with an card so I think Maskatel, Apo Londau, and Gobicus Alam, say eleven minutes before nine o'clock or so, we shall cross over. Yes, your radio. Um, thank you so much. Okay, my little 30 seconds, we round it off. Oh, thank you very much, man. Um, lastly, mm -hmm. now I always um, say, you know, education is important because the best investment you make is not properties. You know, people are losing their properties today because they've made mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's not picking stocks. 
Yes, it's not picking stops. It's not cryptocurrencies. It's not. It's none of these opportunities that you see every day. The best and mm. most important investment you can ever make is in your head. You know, so only you can guarantee yourself the kind of wealth you desire. You are the most important investment. So let me stop okay. there. Thank you so much. Uh, education is the best investment and the most important invest. More than So Thank you so much, again next week. Uh, next week Tuesday. Otherwise, King you were Yes, 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 thank you so much, again next Wednesday. All right, and pull up good morning crossing over you what's your all right, thank you so much for pulling up in the time. I get my skin, could you see taller? You are sick as you join and don't have my sins. And don't in a mass food, then give it nice food. The second, the second, the one that invest. Who can you get pressure? Unga, who's good to so one a post or conba? You do not plan to talk about the amount of teas. I mean, I can't be a boy like a woman who will invest a key as you go in the sack for eight minutes before nine o'clock. Thank you. So much. Sasi <laughs> Eastern Cape Town, and I will tell like a le generational um, wealth creation. Thank you, Lisa. Some mama and I again next week, uh, when Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday next week. So, this is some for man again. Go a corner for now. Hayini man, be good, be good, be good, nandi, be good, jaya, eh, okuba nani, ba pula poli, eh. And social crossover. wireless. Ano ma totoro akage kulo sako esisem tini esinga shishis yomadi chonge kanza wam please please eh kani denzeleni kula yuba ni like if ngesi radio em ni kanza indo bana eh i app ni i downloader ba kia ni anzeleka wani downloader ni ngasuko aske ba mani shishis mandi ambe wechu beku kuche beku nje yani because your kolo is an tuala na ngalei mini ini iti order your steps ini guide na kumbani kati niti bane nabo za kwa asubani be nifumbe li mnia elim nandi ni besi sbani esi kanyayo esi ngatamiyo kuna kutike ni nga lahi mbele kuma kufele ni nga nizeli mpula poli do not eat at all quitting is not an option no ba into nye team no ba yo weight loss no ba into no ba kufunu msebenzi no ba kutina never ever quit zoa ba <laughs> to three city invasions na ayonega usiso kasa kwa anayamba na asha tulu manyo maga jana between three and six yes mmm lava top safa kamati obsasas